hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great on today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful trendy hair ruffle okay or hairband it is a must have among your fashion accessories as a lady okay and i tell you it's very very easy to make super easy to make as i'm going to show you right now so here i have a couple of some i've already made beautiful prints beautiful colors okay and this is exactly what we'll be doing here okay so the material that i'm going to use i have this cut out piece here i have here a length say about um 40 inches by 11 inches here i have in length 14 inches and i have here 11 inches now this one depends on you actually you can actually do as much as 40 to 45 okay depending on how much of the rough you want to gather up and of course when it comes to the width this way you can even do as little as seven to eight to as much as 12 inches okay but here i have 11 inches okay so i'm working here with today with 11 inches by 14 inches in length then i also have this two little cut out piece of 14 inches by three inches okay 14 inches by three inches this two and i have this elastic of one inches a one inch um width elastic and its length of nine inches okay so this is what i'm going to be using here so the first thing i'm going to do now is to take my fabric like so and fold it into two like this this long piece fold it along the long length okay fold it into two then fold it this way are you seeing this okay so the next thing I'm going to do now is to mark at this at this edge points where you have this unfold point here, not this way. I will mark um say about two inches here. I'm gonna mark two inches at this point. Then on this side from the end point, I'll mark I say about seven to eight inches here. Okay, so what I need to do now is just to connect these two lines not totally straight not so curvy just a little bit of curve to it okay and that is it then the next thing i will do now is to cut this off trim off this um rough edges and cut it off like so so here is what you have okay so now that I've done this, I'm just going to open it up like this. Then I'm going to go to my machine, okay? This, remember this, the, the right side are both facing each other. Here is the wrong side. So what I'm going to do now is to sew up this way, all the way, come to this other side, sew it up. So all I'm, I'm going to be having these two opening. I'll be having here a left open, then after which I'll turn it to the other side, okay? And so I have this long piece all sewn out and turned to the other side. And if you see the both ends opening, and they are all open, okay? And of course, the other three inches by 14 inches, the two of them, I also sewed it and also turned it to the right side. So what I'm going to do now is to take one of these, okay? I will use my safety pin. I will um, use it to pass it through um, this place. Now, this is where we are going to um, create our rough okay so i'm just going to keep passing it till i get to the very end but of course be mindful of the end part so that it doesn't um, pull in okay so when i notice that i'm almost getting to this this point i'll just like to um hold it down with a pin so that it doesn't all go inside so i'll just take my safety pin here and um, hold it at this end then i'll continue you know creating my ruffle so now i have it all passed to the end here okay so what i will do i'll also hold this down with a pin And of course at the other end as well so what i want to do now 
just keeping this still. So what I'm going to do now is to also take my safety pin and pass this nine inch of um, elastic into this place. So I'm going to hold this down, just get the end. So what I'm going to do now is to go to my machine. I will sew this edge upon a point of the elastic and also the very end here. So I have it down with the pin. So I'm going to sew one end on the other side. When I'm done with that, then these two ends I have here, I would now attach it, okay, like so. I will sew. Remember, I'm holding this pin in such a way that one of this end is out here, okay. I intentionally left it out, so I'm going to sew this now. By the time I sew this, and I'll also do that to this place. Let me quickly finish this up. So, like I said, I've attached after fixing the um, band in this strip sewn one edge okay and the other then i used one edge of the elastic and sewed it to one point of this rough part as you can see okay still holding firm to this place so what i do now after sewing it and trimming off the edges i'll take off this pin then what i'm going to do now is to push this this sewn part now with the rough edges i'm going to push it inwards Okay, push it inwards in such a way that you will have this this one, this main piece here, out. Then by doing that, I will take this this outer piece. I'll fold it in, say about half an inch. I hope you can see this. I'll fold it in, say about half an inch. Okay. When you fold it in about half an inch, then be sure that you don't take the rough the sewn edge to inside okay you could feel it at the edge here but just fold it in half an inch and and then i'm holding it now with a pin so i'm just going to go to my machine and do that okay so you can see by the time i sew it it's going to have the neat finishing you have the rough edges hidden inside okay so when i'm done with it i'm also going to take it and do the same thing to this other end i'll first of all sew this part like this close it up trim the edges then i can now take away this pin and push it inside and also fold it by half an inch and here you have it guys this ruffle is as good as ready if you notice like i said I'll be able to hide the rough edges inside, you see, and it gives it a neat stitching. So you can only see just a tiny stitch outside, unable to see the rough edges, okay? And this is it on the other side as well. So this rough wool is ready. This is so, so beautiful. You can see how easy it is, and it's something, like I said, you can make for yourself, okay? Very, very easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed my today's tutorial, guys. Please don't forget to share this video. Give me a giant thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video and have a wonderful day. Bye.